Welcome to ITU Telecom World 2018 here in Durban, South Africa, where I'm very pleased to be joined in the studio today by Abraham Kofi Asante, who is CEO for GIFEC in Ghana. Mr. Asante, thank you very much for joining us in the studio today. I thank you, Max, for having me here. Now, I'd like to start off by talking about smart digital transformation. It's the theme for this year's ITU Telecom World. What does that mean to you? Smart digital transformation, for me, I believe um, it's a developmental process. And um, it is... Um, um, a, a situation where we're trying to pull together all the various facets of um, smart human resource, infrastructure, and then ideas so that we'll be able to serve our citizens better in this digital um, age. For them to take advantage of digitization of things for us to move our country's development forward. And what smart digital uh, transformation do you think is going to make the most difference? The smart digital transformation that is going to make the most difference is for us to adopt inclusive, techno, um, inclusive um, connectivity, especially for our remote citizens in the remote areas, rural areas. We need to make sure that there's some kind of connectivity given to them and also to train the human resource so that we will have the relevant content also available. And when we are able to put all these things together in a smart way, then it will be more beneficial. But one key thing that we have to understand is that we plan today and we invest today so that tomorrow it will get better. And this is one of the things that we need to educate ourselves on. So that as we implement these projects, we implement these investments, then we will know that the future will be brighter. Let's talk about innovation. How are you engendering innovation in Ghana? How are you helping uh, young innovators to, to get, get ahead? Yeah, what we're trying to do is that um, in Ghana, we have got what we call ICT centers in 241 locations. So that anyone who comes in with innovation would have a space to work within. And also to provide them with the access to broadband. So in all these remote areas, we provide connectivity and um, we try to remove the barrier of affordability so that some of these services are provided for free. Um, so we do what we call infrastructure provision and then also make sure that things work. Now there are two facets to this. We look at one, the demand side and also the supply side. On the supply side, we provide the infrastructure, we provide devices, make them affordable. And on the demand side, we provide them with the skills relevant content so that um, they will be able to take advantage of it. It's a combination of the demand and the supply that makes it work and then gives them the advantage to be on that playing field to take advantage of all the opportunities within the digital um, ecosystem. And how are you driving uh, rural telephony adoption? Rural telephony adoption um, is being driven in um, a multi-stakeholder approach. Um, in Ghana, GIFEC, we have the mandate to provide rural telephony. But you know, um, as it were, it is the telcos who are supposed to do it, but they cannot do it all alone because these are areas where they will not make profit. So in our multi-stakeholder approach, we have government-private um, partnership. And in this partnership, this is how GIFEC does it. This is the model. We, GIFEC, do the facilitation. The private investor brings in some uh, financial resources. And then we have the telcos providing the services. So with this kind of arrangement, we are able to do more. Let me um, emphasize here that for eight, the past eight years, without this model, we're able to do only 117 for eight years. But when we adopted this model in 2017 only, we were able to deploy for 100 sites. And in 2018, we are deploying for another set of 200, which would add up to make 300 sites in just two years. That's so wonderful. the model is very effective. And we believe in the fact that government-private partnership arrangement would move us more faster in an accelerated manner. That's wonderful. And in terms of your, your presence here, what's the value for you of attending events such as ITU Telecom World? Um, the value for us for attending an event like the Telecom World is that here is a platform where we have um, uh, innovators are here. We have um, a platform, a global platform, where people learn from us and we also learn from them. So here we've been able to network
for us to find innovations in other parts of the world which we can adopt in our country. We believe by doing that, we'll be able to serve um, the global population and the world will be better um, sooner than later. Great words. Abraham Coffey Asante, thank you very much indeed. Thank you. Thank you. Most welcome.